Hi everyone, this is Julia from Adventure Geek and this week I'm bringing you some backpacking clever gear. Well, not necessarily clever gear, but gear that you can have multiple uses with. I've got all sorts of gadgets and gizmos to show you. So if backpacking and hiking is your sort of bag, then please stay tuned for this week's video. Let's get going. Item number one is this one, which is the Helinox Mini. So, love this chair. This is like this really small, dinky chair, and the reason I like it, I mean, it's got for, for multiple uses. A, if you're a small lady, uh, then this works absolutely brilliantly. Not only as a chair, I use it for multiple items. I use my big one when I'm actually on a, like a weekend hike or something like that. But if I'm on a through hike or something longer, then I'll always take my Helinox chair mini. Um, so it will take up to 14 stone. I don't know what that is in pounds, uh, sorry, in pounds or kilo or grams. I'll put it on the screen now. Um, and yeah, that's absolutely great. If you've got a big bum, <laughs> It's not for you, but for me, it's absolutely perfect. So I use it for multiple use, not just for obviously sitting in, uh, but I've got some other uses, which I'm gonna go through now. Let's get rid of this one. I just like to keep my, my bag or my pack on my chair and it just keeps it off the ground. It's just easier to uh, just to pack it if it's off the ground. I just find that a little bit easier. So that's the first thing. The second thing I use it here for is a table when I'm actually inside my tent. So let me show you that. So I just like to put things on it, whether it's my earphones or anything like that. It's just a nice little table first thing in the morning. I can have my coffee whilst I'm sitting in the tent. But also, if it's raining, the size of this thing actually just fits lovely in my vestibule. So if I just do that, love the tarp tent. If it's raining, it's brilliant. Love the Helinox Mini. Right, the second item I wanted to talk to you about was these little Dyneema patches. So these are absolutely fantastic. Not only can you put them uh, around the outside of your tent for extra tie outs, these are for Dyneema tents. Um, so you can do additional support, especially if you're going in for winter hiking or whatever. But I've also made a cool little washing line or a really neat place to actually hang stuff with my notch tent. So if I, I for example, this is my poop kit. Uh, and you know you need your poop kit even if it's in the middle of the night you need to know where it is so I just literally hang it on my washing line there you go let me show you this in a little bit more detail obviously the washing line you can put more stuff on that so I usually put my cloth um, or I forgot wet wet underwear or wet t-shirts or anything like that something that's lightweight i'll just put it up there to dry rather than having wet stuff inside my tent so that obviously works quite well love it okay so the next clever item or multiple use item is trekking poles and obviously most people going on a long distance hike will use trekking poles trekking poles can be used for all sorts of things whether it's erecting a trekking pole tent or obviously using it for just normal hiking but i personally use the camera staff which is the compadel camera staff i've done a full video on this um, but obviously not only is it a trekking pole but it also works with my phone and with my camera so i can do it works as a monopod as well so that i can do like a tripod type walk by shots and stuff like that i've absolutely loved this this is like my best gadget that i've used this year or bought this year and i like my gadgets but i absolutely love it so yeah absolutely fantastic i'm going to take this off now i'm going to show you how i use this inside my tent just to show you how this works then so i've got the end of my camera stuff here literally i'll just unscrew it okay and you've got on the end it's just a three quarter inch screw which is great for gopros or anything like that this particular one that i've got i'll put a link in the bit below it's got a clip i don't know if you can see that it's got a clip and then that goes onto the roof here of my tent that just clips on 
and then I can hang my phone actually on there and I can sit that back on and just watch a nice video um, or film or something like that or even see the YouTube. last thing that you can use your trekking pole for is to dig a cat hole um, to do your number twos but to be honest with you I've always used my trowel I've never used a trekking pole to do that but it could be done especially if you lose your trowel the last item that I've bought this year is my uh, thin mat if you live in the UK um, I'll put a link to where you can get these because obviously they do them in Gosma gear in the US uh, but they're a thin mat and I absolutely love these again this is true because it goes underneath my sleeping pad um, and protects the set, protects my sleeping pad so it doesn't get popped you've got a little bit of extra warmth there as well not much warmth but just a little bit of extra warmth uh, and also you can use it as a sit mat you can use it as a yoga mat to do your stretches in the evening um, I often put it just on my chair as well just for extra warmth for my rear end um, yeah but multiple uses these sit mats I absolutely love them the only thing I don't like about them is everyone says they fold up really well but actually they're quite a pain to um, fold up and put into your pack I end up rolling it and putting it on the top um, so that's the only negative thing about it but yeah a uh, sit pad or a, a thin mat I haven't even cut mine up but these, these are quite cool right my next item is an insulation pouch I got this from Valley and Peak um, so it's it's an insulated pouch and most people will use them for electronics they come with these bags and they're exactly the same size for um, like your mountain house mills or your dehydrated mills so you can keep your food warm in here as well uh, other things that I put into it um, is my gas canister I chuck that in there and also my water filter I chuck that in there and then just chuck it in the foot box of my um, down sleeping bag so I know exactly where everything is rather than trying to look for things in the morning so an insulated pouch has multiple uses it's a clever bit of kit it's great for keeping your electronics nice and warm as well uh, and I never leave home without it even in the summer I've always got this particular pouch I just know where my electronics are so yeah that works well okay so there are other items such as a buff um, but everyone talks about buff they've got loads of multiple uses I usually don't leave home without those as well um, and things like duct tape you know I've always got tape around my poles uh, just for emergencies you use that loads as well um, but one of the gadgets that I've had since 2016 is a trekking umbrella and again this is like part of my staple uh, kit so you can see how worn this one is but it's not just good for the rain obviously it is good for the rain but it's also good for uh, the sun as well and yeah I've walked the Camino loads and on the Masetta section there's hardly any trees They're really good for the PCT as well for uh, the desert section and you know just creating some shade so not necessarily just for rain but also for the sun trekking umbrella never leave home without it so that's me done for another week if you like these videos then please hit that subscribe button i'm really trying to get to 2000 subscribers that would be awesome you have to click, click the little ding dong bell as well and then you'll get notifications that these videos are coming through that would be great i try and get them out weekly if not twice a week but i try and get them out at least once a week i enjoy doing them as well i absolutely love it and also i'm saving up for a uh, the pct hike which i'll be doing in 2023 so if you can spare three quid just to buy me a coffee that would be awesome anyway that's me signing out for another week i'll see you next time don't forget to get outside get inspired go take a hike when you can and i'll see you on the next one take care everyone Ta -da. bye bye